Hello, my name is Thomas Vulon, and I'm the General and Artistic Director of the Atlanta Opera. I attended Harvard Business School Program of Leadership Development with Chad Foster in 2015 and graduated in February 2016 with him. Chad was chosen as the representative of our class to speak in our graduation ceremony that took place in Boston in 2016. There are a few moments in every person's life that they can never forget. And one of those moments happened for me in that graduation and it had a lot to do with the speech that Chad delivered. That Harvard Business School Hall was still bustling at that ceremony with hundreds of recent graduates, faculty, professors still talking and having a great time when Chad got up and delivered his speech. He spoke about challenges and about obstacles that are associated with the fact that he was a legally blind businessman, father, husband, citizen that has to face everything to do with that situation. The fear, the insecurity, the prejudice, and the hardships that are associated with this kind of situation. Chad spoke from his heart, and he spoke from memory, controlling every detail in that speech. He also was intelligent to insert many humorous anecdotes that made all of us feel comfortable and at ease with stories that were quite difficult to hear. He was inspiring. We were all listening very, very carefully at that point. Then Chad started talking about something else. He started talking about the choice to be happy and how it has nothing to do with circumstances and everything to do with our choice to be happy. We knew about challenges. We knew about obstacles. We knew what it meant as leaders, as executives, as parents, as human beings what it is to deal with the curveballs that life throws at you and still keep a very positive outlook on life. Personally, I was transported. I'm an opera director and my job is to create emotions in people through text and music. Now Chad's words did not have music, but they were so powerful that I could almost hear that. The hall erupted into applause when he finished, jumping to their feet for an instant standing ovation, as we say in the theater. And a lot of us had tears in our eyes. In that moment, I decided to commission an opera based on Chad's life, on his challenges, because I think that there is something very universal about his story and about his approach to life. That speech, at that moment, I thought was one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard. I still believe that to this day.